Warning, the RC models in this film are not intended for anyone under the age of 14. Guys, so in this video we're going to carry on with a little mini Gravedigger build. So we're building something similar to this one here, but we're going to make a few improvements. This one here has four wheel steer, four wheel drive, and it's pretty much a mini skull replica of the real thing. On this one here, I'm going to kind of try and make it better. I'm going to do what I've learned from this one and try and improve this one. So this one's going to be brushless. Uh, I'll put the brushless motor in there. And if you want to know more, then I'm going to put a link up here to part one of this video. If you want to make some extra cash so you can buy more toys, quit your job, go on more holidays, or maybe build a monster truck. I've got you covered. Check out my course in the description and I'll show you how to make 100k profit a year. Now one of the things I'm doing differently, I'm going to put these longer links on the front and the rear. And I've got some of these coming in the mail and they haven't come yet. But I want to carry on with this build anyway. I don't want to wait for too long. I want to get this thing wrapped up and done. So we're just going to do a few little bits and bobs in this video just to kind of get the build progressed a little bit. So first of all, I want to modify the body shell. And on this one here, on the first one I did, I cut out the windows and put a little bit of Lexan in there for the window. I want to do the same on this one here. Then also I can prepare the wheels which are going to come off of this Spin Master monster truck here. I've got to cut the centers out. Then I've got to bond in like another wheel or something. So first things first, I'm just going to use a body reamer and just make a hole in the corner of each of the windows. So there you go. I've put a hole in each of the corners of all the windows. And next I'm going to use a pair of these body scissors to cut in between the holes. And by the way, if you have a look over here, at this engine in a crawler build. I've got the engine kind of chilling here and I've just had the transmission turn up. So obviously this is gonna sit a lot lower. I've got to remove these pieces here and then I've got to try and find a way to couple this transmission to that. But anyway guys, that's a different video and um, I've got to put a link to here for the first part of the build series of this. So next, just like on the real grave digger, I need to remove this rear section here so it looks like this one. So a little trick that you can do, just to tidy up the edges a tiny bit, just get rid of some little sort of imperfections and stuff and get rid of sort of like the white, sort of like cut lines. Just get a lighter and just carefully just heat the edge. It just kind of just cleans up the edge a little bit. Check it out. So next we need to make a windshield and for that I've got a piece of Lexan here. I've just laid it over the top of the window here and just marked around it with a marker pen. And then I'm just going to roughly cut it out for now and then we're going to tidy it all up in a minute. So next I've just got to trim it down bit by bit until it just fits nicely inside. So next I'm just going to lay the windshield inside like that. And then with a marker pen just put a little mark at the top and bottom where the centre line is. Then I'm lining the two marks up with the edge of the table and just putting a slight little, just a little kink, just like that. Just so that it perfectly fits the shape of the body. And then just a little bit of hot glue just to hold it all in place. Boom! So next I've got to get these tyres off of the rims and these are glued on. I tried to boil them off last time and it did work, but not that well really. It kind of distorted all the plastic because I let them get too hot and all the glue didn't really break up, so I'm not really sure what kind of glue they're using. Um, but in this build, I'm going to use these wheels here, only because they're exactly the same. These are the FTX ones, identical. There's no difference whatsoever. The only difference is that these are silver, and the wheels that I'm going to be putting onto it are these ones here, and these are silver. So it's going to look a little bit nicer. I mean, I'm probably being a bit overly funny about it. If we look at this one, look, that's got black wheels. But I think it's just going to look that little bit nicer for you silver ones. I actually ordered these because I thought they came without the tyre. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered. But now that I've got them, I may as well use them. So I've got a jar here. I've put a few stones in the bottom. So I'm going to put some acetone in there just so that the acetone is below the surface of the stones. And then I'm going to chuck all these wheels on top. And then the fumes of the acetone is hopefully going to break the bond and these are going to come off easy. So it might take overnight. We'll see. Now, you'd probably be better off using something that's got a metal lid. Uh, this is all that I've got kicking around at the moment, so I'm just going to have to make do. So I'm doing it out here in the workshop because this stuff stinks and I don't really want to fume out the bit that I'm working in. That's more than enough in there, probably put a little bit too much in. Then I'm going to put the lid back on just to stop it all from evaporating. So that can chill there now and then we're going to get back to it later and see how it gets on. 
subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe or dislike, it all helps. So it might seem a little bit of a shame to ruin a whole model just to steal the wheels and the exhaust off of it. But if you're trying to build cool stuff, then sometimes you've got to make some sacrifices. So all that we need off of this is the wheels and the tires and this exhaust thingamajig here. Now, of course, if you're trying to build something similar, you could skip this part and you could use the wheels and tires off of this. And you could probably do it pretty much the same process as what I'm gonna do here, but it's gonna kind of save you from buying another model. I mean, the exhaust is only a bit of show, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, so really, it's just really about the wheels. But absolutely, you could use these wheels here if you wanna save yourself a bit of money. So these wheels here, they are an absolute pain to get off. We really struggled with the last one, really yanking on there trying to get them off. So the easiest way I think is just to cut most of it off. Because we're gonna drill out this whole center here anyway. Oh, the Rovagini isn't happy. Oh dear. Oh, right, so I've just had a few more parts turn up here, some more servo savers, a few links, but I didn't get any of these lower links, which is what I really need. So I've ordered some more. Hopefully they're going to turn up soon, but I think just to get this build underway, I'm just going to steal these off of this model for now and then put new ones on this when they turn up again. But before we do that, let's drill out the centres of these wheels. So I'll drill it out so that we reach this piece here. And so then when you look through here afterwards, this piece here remains and then this inner section here is gone. One of them, I did go a little bit too deep and it took a chunk out, so I'm gonna try and not do that with this one here. So this is the drill bit that I'm gonna use, and I mean, this is not ideal. It's a little bit too small, uh, but this is the closest that I've got. Maybe a hole saw that is a perfect size of this would be better, but uh, sometimes you just gotta make do with what you have. So next, I'm just getting rid of all of this stuff in here. I'm not really sure what the best way of going about it is. So I've left these in here overnight now, so let's see how they come off. <laughs> Easy, check it out. I mean, you definitely don't want to submerge these because this plastic's going to melt. You can already see, look, that the acetone has started to sort of break down the plastic. Oh, oh no. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh... Plan B. Oh no! Oh! Alright, that didn't work. Oh well, I've got another packet. Guys, I would definitely recommend if you can buy just the wheels on their own to do that. I couldn't find them. So I tried boiling them off and it did kind of work, but it did somehow distort the plastic a little bit. So, I don't know, maybe just cut them off. Oh, luckily this side wasn't too well glued anyway. Yeah, there we go. That's going to be your best option. So next, I'll find it easier just to cut off this outer lip here. It just makes it sit inside there a little bit nicer, just in case you haven't perfectly cleaned it right in the corners. So then, once it looks like this, we've just got to glue this into place. So you want to push it in as far in as it can go. And then I tried it to hold it with a G-clamp, or C-clamp, depending what part of the world you're from. But if you haven't got this surface inside here perfectly flat, which mine isn't really, then this is going to sit a little bit wonky. So I'm just going to stick it in there and eyeball it and just make sure that the gap looks exact same. Because if I push it all the way down, it's leaning a little bit towards that way. You might not see that on the camera. So I'm just going to eyeball it. Uh, I don't think it matters too much if it's not 100% perfect. And then I'm just going to glue that in with my glue gun. And by the way, these are extra strong glue sticks. So not the best job in the world, but that'll do. So I've just stolen these lower links from a HBX Devastator. Now don't worry, I have ordered some new ones and I will be putting them back on so the truck's gonna be sort of fully operational again. But anyway, uh, this screw here needs to pass through these ball joints and they don't. So I'm just gonna hold these little ball joints in these ball joint pliers and then carefully just run a drill bit through. Beautiful. So next, I'm just going to clip that back in on one end and do that on all four. Then next, we need to fit these onto the cradle. Now, there's not quite enough room that way to get them to go in. So I'll just use a knife and just shave a little bit of plastic away from in there. So 
So there we go, all four lower four link bars attached. So next is clip on an axle. So this is the axle from the Adventurer. From the last build I used the axles from a Devastator. So I've just got to pop off the shocks and then get these links here off. And next I'm going to put on the front axle and by the way these are both front axles from the Adventurer because I'm going to have rear wheel steer on this. So there we go, both axles mounted and next I'm going to put the drive shafts on. Alright, so the axles are half mounted now, I've got the drive shaft bolted on but we have ran into a small issue. Uh, if we look at the distance from there to there, it is less than on this one. On this one here, that distance is a lot greater. And what that's doing is putting that drive shaft here on maximum extension. So it's like nothing holding it on, look, it's just nothing there. So I'm either going to have to shorten these links and bring the axles closer together. But then, it's not going to be any longer wheelbase than this one. I wanted to make this one slightly longer. So, I think I may have to steal the axles from this and lose another Devastator. But I don't know, guys. Give me a note in the comments. What do you think? Do you think I should shorten these? Do you think I should steal the axles off of this so that I can use the same axles as on this one? Or do you guys know of a drive shaft that is longer? I mean, this drive shaft here on both the Devastator and out of the Adventurer, they're both the same length. So it's gonna have to be a drive shaft or something completely different. So if you guys know anything that you know that's gonna fit on there, that's maybe five millimeters longer, or even if it's much longer, that's fine because I can cut it down. So for now guys, we're gonna leave it for this video. So in the next series, I wanna get all the suspension all bolted up, get all that lot all working, maybe get the electronics in, maybe get this thing up and running.